Hello everyone. Welcome to Dental Education Hub YouTube channel. Today we are going to discuss the classifications of the salivary gland. So what we are going to discuss in this short lecture, I'll discuss some background information about human salivary glands, classification of salivary glands. We will also discuss the concept of mixed or whole saliva. And at the end, we will do a short activity. So watch this video till the end and do participate in the activity. So the salivary glands are the exocrine glands. It means that these glands have a ductal system and the secretions uh, of these glands, they are released on a free surface. In the exocrine family, the salivary glands are classified as the merocrine glands. It means that the only secretion of the gland is released and no part of the cell is lost during the, part, during the process of secretion. The salivary glands are known as the compound glands. It means that salivary glands have various tubules and that those tubules that join the main duct. Now the classification of salivary glands. So the salivary glands, they are classified according to the size of the gland and volume of secretion. And the second way in which the salivary glands are classified is according to the type of secretion. So let's first discuss according to the size of glands and the volume of secretion. So the salivary glands are classified further. On this basis, the salivary glands are classified into major salivary glands. The major glands are include the parotid glands, submandibular and sublingual. These glands are paired and the secretion of these glands is nerve mediated. It means it is under the control of the nerves. So especially the parotid and the submandibular gland. So these glands, parotid, submandibular and sublingual, they have a well-developed uh, ductal system. Why they are called major glands? Because number one, because of the size of the gland and secondly, because majority or 90% of the saliva, it is produced by the major salivary glands. The other glands are known as the minor salivary glands. The minor salivary glands, they are numerous. They are around 500 to 1000 salivary glands. They are present in the oral cavity in different locations. For example, labial, lingual, palatal, buccal and the retromolar glands, they are present in the oral cavity at different locations. They have a short ducts opposite to the major salivary glands and those short ducts, they have an opening onto the mucosal surface. So these glands, they are present just below the epithelium. The salivary glands are also classified according to the type of secretion. So according to the type of secretion, the salivary glands, they are classified into serous glands. And the serous glands, they have more watery saliva. And this saliva is rich in amylase, proteins, proline-rich proteins, and glycoproteins. And the serous saliva, it is produced by the parotid gland, which is a major salivary gland. And a minor salivary gland also produces serous secretion that is called von Ebner glands. Second type of secretion is the mucus secretion. So this, uh, this, the mucus secretion, it is rich in a protein that is known as the mucin. So the mucus secretion, it is produced by sublingual gland and all the minor salivary glands, they are mucus except the von Ebner glands that I have discussed before. The third type of secretion is, uh, is a mixed secretion. It means some of the glands, they produce serous as well as the mucus secretion at the same time. So the submandibular gland, it produces both serous as well as the mucus secretions. So the mixed saliva, it comprises of secretion of major and the minor glands. Saliva also contains dead cells, microorganisms and fluid debris. And the last thing is gingival fluid and inflammatory cells. They all 
are present in the oral cavity. So we call this mixture, we call it as mixed or whole saliva. Now, there's activity for you. Identify these labels A, B, and C. So identify these glands and write the secretion, write the type of secretion produced by each of these glands and write it in the comments. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, do give us your feedback. Stay blessed.